find all the value of m. 3 raised to power m plus 9 raised to power m plus 27 raised to power m is equal to 14. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of m from this nice equation. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Solution. Yeah, we have 3 raised to power m. Plus 9 raised to power m can be written as 3 squared raised to power of m plus 27 raised to power m can be written as 3 raised to power 3 all raised to power of m is equal to 14. Then take note of this rule that a raised to power n to the power of m is equal to a raised to power m to the power of n which is equal to a raised to power n m. We have 3 raised to power m plus 3 square raised to power m can be written as 3 raised to power m square plus 3 raised to power 3 raised to power m can be written as 3 raised to power m raised to power 3 is equal to 14. Then let 3 raised to power m is equal to y. And we have y plus y square plus y cube is equal to 14. Then let's rearrange this. We have y raised to power 3 plus y square plus y let's bring this 14 to this side minus 14 is equal to 0 then we can divide this using remainder theorem but let's find the factors of let's find the factors first let's see when y y equal to 1 then we have 1 raised to power 3 plus 1 square plus 1 minus 14. This is not equal to 0. Also, y equal to 2. Let's see. We have 2 raised to power 3 plus 2 square plus 2. Then minus 14 this is equal to 0 therefore y minus 2 is a factor then use the remainder theorem we have the divisor which is y minus 2 and we have the quotient which is y this is power 3 plus y square plus y minus 14. Then we have here y minus 2, which is divisor, and we have here y raised to power 3 plus y square plus y minus 14. Now y raised to power 3 divided by y. This is y square. Then y square times y. y raised to power 3 y squared times minus 2. This is minus 2y squared. Now let's multiply this by minus 1, minus 1. This one will cancel this. Then here we have 2y squared plus y squared. 3y squared. Let's bring this y down plus y. Then 3y squared divided by y. This is plus 3y, 3y times y, here is 3y squared, then 3y times minus 2, this is minus 6y, multiply this by minus 1, this will cancel this, so we have 6y plus y, this is 
seven y n and we have minus 14 here let's bring it down so seven y divided by y this is seven plus seven and seven times y we have seven y and seven times minus two this is minus 14 then if you multiply by negative one so here will be zero and zero therefore we have our value which is this and for from here we have y minus 2 bracket then y square plus 3y plus 7 y square plus 3y plus 7 equal to 0 so there are two cases here let's see the first case is y minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore y is equal to 2 for here is this second case we have y square plus 3y plus 7 is equal to 0 and this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula and our quadratic general formula is given y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c over 2 a where a is equal to 1 b is equal to 3 c is equal to 7 y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 7 over 2 multiplied by 1 then y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square 9 minus 4 times 1 times 7 28 over 2 y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 19 over 2 then we have y is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 19i over 2 but 3 raised to the power m is equal to y therefore 3 raised to the power m is equal to 2 or 3 raised to the power m is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 19i over 2 then from here let's take the log of both sides we have log 3 raised to the power m is equal to log 2 then we have m log 3 is equal to log 2 let's divide both sides by log 3 divided by log 3 this will cancel this m is equal to log 2 base 3 this is the first value of m then also from here 3 raised to the power m is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 19i over 2 then let's take the log of both sides log 3 raised to the power m is equal to log of 
minus 3 plus or minus square root of 19i over 2. Then we have m log 3 is equal to log of minus 3 plus or minus square root of 19i over 2. Yes, let's divide both sides by log 3 divided by log 3. This will cancel this. m is equal to log minus 3 plus or minus square root of 19i over 2 the 3 and this is the other value of m therefore our final answers are m is equal to log 2 base 3 or m is equal to log of minus 3 plus or minus square root of 19i over 2 base 3. If you enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.